review is sponsored by the Jim and Rick Show After the Show podcast. Another great show. We're going to get to some of those salty texts. Also, some great news. That 988 crisis line, it is working. Plus, we have other things, including tipping fatigue. Are you tired of tipping? A lot of people are. And then, it's a new TikTok challenge that can kill you. It's called Spicy Chicken. Find out more on the Jim and Rick Show. It's after the show podcast. Go to the downloads section of WOMTradio.com. Hello, Lakeshore, and welcome to a Week in Review, where we take a look at some stories you might have missed this week. MO Inc. welcomed the public out on Thursday for the grand unveiling of their new production facility in Manitowoc's Industrial Park. We spoke with Ammo Executive President Todd Wagenhalls, who praised the hard work of local businesses responsible for the 15-month build. NASCAR Hall of Famer and Ammo Board per- member Richard Childress told us that they expect to produce over a billion, that is with a B, rounds at the facility next year. We spoke with Manitowoc Police Chief Nick Reimer about the sudden spike in juvenile charges in August. He said that while the numbers don't necessarily lie, they don't also tell the full story. He said there isn't necessarily more juvenile crime. It's rather that his officers are actually solving more crimes. He said a majority of the juvenile crimes in Manitowoc is related to thefts from and of vehicles. Some parents bond with their children through activities like playing catch, but Jeannie and Olivia Muckerhide, they went a different route. They both attended Lakeshore Technical College at the same time and will graduate from the nursing program together in December. Olivia is working as a nurse extern at HSHS St. Nicholas Hospital in Sheboygan, while Jeannie is working as a certified nursing assistant at Aurora Sheboygan Medical Center. Both continue to work where they want to continue to work where they are after completing their degrees and passing the National Council Licensure Examination, but both also plan to transfer their credits after graduating and complete their bachelor's degrees. And in your sports, a local MMA fighter is hanging up his gloves next month. Morgan Sickinger will be a part of the Caged Aggression 34 Domination card and will take his final walk to the cage on October 15th in the River Center in Davenport, Iowa. Morgan has fought in Bellator and Legacy Fighting Alliance and has accumulated a record of 21 wins, 14 of which come by submission, and 14 losses along with one no contest. Tickets for the fight, which will be streamed online, are available at cagedaggressionevents.com. And Manitowoc Lincoln Jr. Olivia Minicles continuing to dominate the tennis competition, Olivia has already earned two trips to state and is looking to make this year three in a row. She told us she doesn't just want to get there. Her goal is to come home with the gold. Olivia remains undefeated this season after picking up a sweep in Lincoln's latest matchup against Appear. You can always find more local news online anytime at cafernews.com. You have yourselves a fantastic weekend, the first weekend of fall, and we'll see you next week.